My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and the Dodgers and Yankees are going to the World Series. MVPs, best records, going to be one for the record books. Are you excited, Jake? James Zach, I am. It's uh, This is the big one, literally and figuratively. Judge and Otani, big. The cities, big. Japan's involved. Mm, yes, yes. I would like the Yankees to invite Hideki Matsui, Masahiro Tanaka, and Ichiro Suzuki, ex-Yankees, to throw out the first pitch at Yankee Stadium. Just kind of like take some shine away from Yamamoto and Otani. I like that. Maybe they have to ask or answer questions. They feel pressured to perform. Right. To me, it's almost like the World Baseball Classic when it was USA and Japan. And you were like, man, imagine if this came down to Otani versus Trout. And then it did. You know, people are predicting seven games. As a Yankee fan, I want to, I want to win. But let's build up to those moments where we have... Yeah. Is Otani going to come out of the bullpen? Because that's kind of what I keep thinking is going right. to happen. Right. Like sneaky. Oh. There's stars. There's good baseball. There's big markets. I think the two mark the markets are so big that I think these two fandoms make up like 15% of all baseball fans. It's kind of you got rival fan bases joining, like Boston and LA are ganging up for one of the first times ever. Like I think the whole NL West is joining Yankee fans. So like my Diamondbacks allegiances are coming through right now. So everyone's loading up. Well, who are the twins rooting for? The Conquer Championships. Later. If the Dodgers win, a player named Will Smith will be in five straight championship teams. The other was a different Will Smith. <laughs> that is crazy. But Jim, nothing lives up to this almost a breakdown. We got a classic one where we combine two different things. We have the worst onside kick attempt in NFL history and then a great onside kick attempt in college football. Mitch Wisnowski. Three, two, two one, four. four. Polish, but Australian. Just straight misses the ball. Niners make a great was that late your, drive. Was that your analysis or was that from his wiki? He's from Australia. You told me that. Yeah. And his name ends they, in they ski. They gave you Polish. So okay. that's Polish. I just want to make sure. Uh, so the Niners drive down the field. Brock Purdy gets the score. Now they need onside kick, momentum, and then he just misses the ball. And I like that he knows right away and just starts walking away. All the other 49ers like surround it almost as like in like a pathetic watch along. So they all look at it. Number 48, he bows out early. He's like, F and then on the flip side, Oregon, Ohio state, big matchup. We get the water boy special. Find the most scared person, kick it right at their face. Drill him. Guy tried to jump over it, hit his legs. They attack it. That should be, you should, uh, Trump hands. Billions and billions. I don't know why we don't see that on tide kick more. People were like saying this was genius. Cause they're like, even if you miss him, it's just a squib kick. And it's like, Took us a hundred years to get to this point. Yeah. Drill him. Mitch Wisnowski. Wisnowski. Love him in Monsters, Inc. All right. And here's the main course of this episode, which you didn't know it was. Jake, the more sports. Brought to you by DraftKings. DraftKings is bringing you the more sports and they've got something for you. $200 in bonus bets instantly when you bet just five dollars so if you're a new customer use promo code dumb you bet just five dollars in any wager and you get two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly at the DraftKings sportsbook app jim this may be our biggest story of the year i got excited to tell you about this because this hits every chord for you king conquer has been cleared of cheating at the world conquer championships i'll get ahead of this quick a conquer is a nut yeah, i'm a nut Continue, Jim. Yeah, so Jake and I will be conquering at the end of the episode. Basically, if this was a chestnut, then you lace it with a leather string. And then you knock each other's conquers. And as soon as you break the other person's, you win. Now, this guy's name is King Conquer. And he is like the mascot of the Conquer world, they Which said. is said by another guy who looks like he should be the mascot of the Conquer world. Conquer's so all over his hat, Conquer <laughs> necklace. It's kind of the ultimate compliment. He's been in the Conquer competition since like 1970. And he's 82 years old. We should say that. This sport was invented because it was the weather wasn't good for fishing and the anglers were bored. And why don't we just hit each other? King Conquer is the guy that threads and laces all the chestnuts, the conquers. And then after he won, he pulled a metal conquer out of his pocket and showed it off. It's a steel conquer. And they're like, well, hold up, King Conquer. <laughs> Did you just use that? Did you just use that metal conquer? Because that feels super illegal. It was painted to look like a chestnut. Exactly like a conquer. He said he has it for a bit of fun. Who laces up the conquers for the event again? King Conquer laces up the conquers. He's been cleared of all wrongdoing, mm -hmm. but the mascot number two didn't seem like that. He's like, so we don't think he did it. We think he's innocent, but we're just checking. There's 12 judges 
2,000 spectators, 12 judges. That ratio is crazy. 14 judges. He's never won before. He's been doing it for 60 years. 14 judges plus a chief umpire. <laughs> so 15 judges. And they're saying they would have noticed. So Jake and I, we made conquers, and we'll be conquering at the end of this episode. Okay? Stay tuned. Jim, it's tough to follow that up. You've got a couple not sports notes here. I've got a couple ones for you, okay? Because I couldn't decide. I'll rapid fire. Not sports. A woman named Karen. She is suing her former employer, the International Airlines Group, because her coworkers didn't give her a farewell card. And she said that it was a breach of equality law and it reflected a failure to acknowledge her existence within the company. But here's the catch, Jake. Yeah. They did make a card for her. They passed it around the office Everyone said, I'd rather not sign it. I don't like her. Really tough. The name Karen obviously coming into play here and the fact she went to the levels of suing over a situation where she gets got. Shades of Angel Hernandez, a weekly dumb favorite, when he said that MLB doesn't want to use me for the postseason because they're being racist. And they said, no, 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 just because you're bad. Court of law stated, no, it's just because you're bad. And that's what happened here. The yeah. judge, he said, uh, it would have been more insulting to give you this card. Yeah. And he said, in quotes, lady, you should be so lucky as to have been spared the embarrassment. So she's not liked. Yeah. All right, this other one, this woman uh, tried to smuggle 29 turtles across a lake into Canada. They go for $1,000 a piece in Hong Kong. So it's 29 grand 29 worth of turtles. 29 G's in turtles. I get it. She had 29 Eastern box turtles individually wrapped in socks and got caught. Hmm. <laughs> That's a big no. That got Zach. 29 turtles and 29 socks. You ain't seen that till you've seen that. And then the last one, mysterious doorway in Antarctica. And I just wanted to hear what you think this doorway leads to. I'll let you go first, Jake. And you just get a free shot here. I'm not allowed to move. Wow. Oh, okay, I'm going to try. I saw a guy do this technique. Mapped it out. No break. These aren't official chestnuts. They're plastic pumpkins. <gasps> Ow. One point me. No way. <laughs> Mine shattered. Oh, take that, Jared. I'm the King Kong. That was a weekly day. I think the sound would have been different. He won it on his first shot. That's the part that stings. Almost everything like it feels is like, suspect. It feels like that should be such a legendary shot from the 82-year-old King Conqueror, and now it's sus. He had a quote that was like, I won because I've been doing this my whole life, and I'm really good. I was like, well, you never won before. I won previously.